Alrighty, good morning. So, right now we've got a set of guitar card picks that printed in copper. We'll build in a bump for the fingerboard part and a quarter pipe. They've got, apparently, 23 hours to go. Alrighty, machine, you're cooking. Proud of this one so far. I'm gonna mold the bump so that we can make it, or I can make it from other material. Pretty excited from that. Yeah. The quarter pipe is gonna be fun to skate. It's gonna go at least another eight inches taller on the Z axis. I sliced the file with a trihexagon infill at 15%. The line height is 0.12. Um, it's set right now in printing at almost a thousand percent, percent print speed. <coughs> Excuse me. But overall, we're proud. <coughs> Still thinking about the next color. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. The allergies are in full effect at the moment. We're transitioning from winter to spring and the pollen for me is pretty heavy. So I apologize for any sneezing and coughing. Watching this machine print is quite impressive. Let's take a look at some other prints. We've got cars to assemble, Sunset Orange, Turquoise, Porsche 964, BMW 2002, and a Ferrari of 40. Two sets. After we get this part done, we're going to use some copper for more car parts. This machine uses a direct drive system. It's the Ender 3 S1 Plus. It does a really great job with the bed leveling, um, the anodized sprocket, I'm assuming is the name. Yeah, for the uh, heated bed, really keeps it well leveled and trammed is a more technical term. It has the capability of printing about a foot cubed. So it's not too small of a machine. Um, obviously there's other ones out there that can go a little bit faster, but if you are in the market and have a budget of around $1,000 to get yourself into 3D printing, this is a, an ideal machine. You could do this, get yourself a few rolls of filament and be cooking. If you follow the YouTube channel, um, the next video that we're going to upload will be how I sliced these particular files. What is something that I should print next? Leave a comment below of some objects that you'd like to see 3D printed. Should I make more fingerboard parts? 
Do I do some new home goods or functional things for everyday life? Leave a comment below, like I suggested. Please. Let's see if we can get a better shot of the curvature. <clears throat> Being our print has <clears throat> nearly a day left to go. Prepare yourself for the follow up in part two when we get to take these parts off of the bed and set up another print file. Thanks for watching, y'all. And once again, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. It helps me as a small creator grow my channel as well as put the algorithm into more of my reviews and how-tos on 3D printing. A day in the life of the 3D flea. Thanks, y'all. Looking forward to tomorrow. Goodbye.